Hey guys, I'm back. It's more of F16. Alright, so last we left off. Uh, at Rosaria, pretty much, or at least the Phoenix Gate. We're about to go find out what really happened. Could I have done this? Though, of course, we know what happened. Oh, Jesus. Hey. That crazy <laughs> creator where, uh, again, he killed his brother. Supposedly. Of course, we know uh, Joshua's alive. Out of my suspicions. It's one of those, if you don't see death happen, then it didn't necessarily happen. Um, I think Benedict is dead. <laughs> but again, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to assume she's dead. What is it? But, again, she, she could have just been passed out. So we didn't like decap or anything like that. Like what happened to his dad? Oh. It's him. That's him. It's brother. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. I say it's kind of interesting that uh. We both come here kind of at the same time. I suppose it's Margus. Margus? Where is he? That's him. Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. <laughs> eel? What is this Snake? place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's Dominant can open it. Oh, those doors. We've That's seen one of these the doors. Name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... I think he's about to. Open said door. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. And listen to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. Number the dominant may enter. I was kind of like, um... I and the other shields... Summoners. Here, summoners in the Final Fantasy X. Brother's safe return. Summoners go in and talk to the Aeon. Where the hell did he go? He went inside. Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. So I have the power. Because we technically stole it from Joshua. Uh, so that means I can go back to the other door back in the other place. I don't remember where it was. <laughs> so I did run into one of these doors before. I just didn't remember where it was. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. I thought Jill just comes in with us. She's like, are you sure? Like, are you sure? Oh, this place is fancy. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Let's hope it opens because <laughs> we can't get out. That's really cool actually. Animation. Whoa. This place that reminds me of Cocoon. Ruin. A little thing in the middle. Ruin. It's perfect. It's it was built yesterday. Indestructible. Oh, looks like we're fighting these things. Whatever these things are. Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh, 
They're definitely coming to life. Definitely fighting it. Jill. <laughs> oh, never mind. I take back. <laughs> take it back. Oh, I don't take it back. Definitely fighting them. Oh, they're bugs. The usual. Beat him up. Fallen bug. Yeah, I forgot I spent all my ability points on the things. Thanks. More bugs. That was a hoplite. It's a ball. <laughs> That's good. That's good from FF4. Must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. We're up right here. Magic ash. Forgetting that the Phoenix shift does not count as a dodge. Yeah, maybe I should uh, switch off the. Um, I forgot what it's called, but the thing that makes Torgal kind of do stuff on his own. So I'm not really using items that much, so I could just. Keep this here and keep it on uh, Torgo's commands. There's our cyclone. Maybe this actually. Yeah, you not know, like I use potions that much, but it might be better. Plus seven is not that much. Let's do this. In the rare case that I do use a potion, at least it'll be more potent. So I think potions heal for like 300 and something now. If I can math correctly. High potions heal for 500, so 20%. 500 is another 100, so that's 600. Like you can Oh, whirlwind. 
had to dodge. Favor the wind. Okay. See what this does. I don't do that many aerial combat or aerial things. Gouge damage. Isn't that. Yeah, it is that. I think I'd rather have that than the aerial combo. It's like a boss coming up. That's why they gave us so many healing items. Kind of a waste, but it's okay. Oh, what the heck? It's balls. Oh, bombs. Get away from that. Oh, it didn't blow up. I see. Oh, I'm actually surprised it didn't blow up on me. Maybe uh, the fight went on longer, it would have. Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too. No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. With all these things on the ground. I think it's a lift, actually. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, <laughs> I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we follow it all the way to the end. Ooh, money. Come on, let's keep looking. Oh, big boy. I do see this, my enemies. Oh. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. Boy. Oh, I dodged into it again. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm playing a little unsafe here. Ow. 
Ow. Not bad, not bad. Oh, another set of peoples. I love how we can actually use fire magic against them. It's over. It's over. Oh, will of wind. What's one spot for the other? Just skill. Works gambit. That's part of the other one. No, it's not. That's because I would get it. Maybe this is better than this one technically. Let's just get it. Two, ten, twelve, fifteen. What? What is this? Or what's this? Increasing jump height and duration. Maybe I have this. I'll get this instead. Let's try putting it on. Too bad I can't have three skills. That'd be nice, but... Um, let's try. It's a defensive maneuver. I'm not sure how good it really is, but... It's gonna be... Another big encounter is coming up. Oh yeah. Actual boss. Huh? No way out. I don't like this. Oof. It's a iron giant. I don't like this either. Seems the feeling's mutual. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't dodge. I would not have dodged in time if he actually. Ow. Uh -huh. Oh, I did it.
The attack. Oh. It's drawing in energy. Not so long, it is it? With me. Wake winds. Please stop it. Ah ha ha! Get early, that's okay. Okay. I dash, dash early. Oh, I didn't dash at all. Yeah. Oh, very close. He's pretty much dead though. Yas. Iron Giant Dismantle. Ooh, that's a lot of monies. All in there. Good stuff. So let's fight another one. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? Oh, <laughs> I thought we were going to back down. I'm like, what? Oh, I forgot this thing came <laughs> down onto her. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. Came down from the top. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. It's you. Jill, look. Oh, it's a whole other dungeon. Oh, whatever. Ruins. Is that some kind of mural? Closer look, whatever it is. Look at real. Was that for the other skill I haven't unlocked yet? Oh, oh it's for that one. I wonder what mastering it does. More potions. Oh yeah. More potions? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have touched that one. I had a feeling that was a potion. Uh not quite sure which way to go. Or maybe they both go the same way. Oh, there's no local map. Yeah, it looks like they both come down to the same spot. Another big battle? Another Iron Giant? Some kind of... Maybe that's the Phoenix back there.
Oh my. Get to see. <laughs> All right then. Stop a ghoul. Oh. oh. I didn't press it. Really enough. That friend's the wrong button. Crazy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gravity. holds even more secrets than we thought. Uh, which way we came from. Just look at them one at a time, I guess. Something. Mm, I guess there's like multiple rooms. And then come to light these thingies. Oh, probably the central thing is a elevator or something. It's probably another room. Demon spawn. Let's create a bridge. It's a back there. Yes, it be do. That's pretty cool.
So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Okay. Is there something else? Can I just didn't look around before running? It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. Oh, it's Phoenix. So, that's not a Phoenix. Is. A thousand years? More? I don't know. It's an angel. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Not again. Dominant of fire. Who are you? I am you. You are Taj. We are you. But did he just grow facial hair <laughs> when he took the hood off? interesting because this feels like some like Hellwalker what was it called? Final oh, Fantasy 14 like I, spin off I'm back the Phoenix oh wait oh no to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. that by accepting it I would lose what little was left of me well, that's well so I ran from everything and now are you ready to accept the truth I am I know it won't be easy but it's 
what I must do so that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. To fight you, Freet. <laughs> fight ourselves. Well, I think it's so we can finally control it. To the truth that awaits me, I will press on. I think. Yep. Ifrit, show me who you truly are. Jesus. I change my skills my battle, I wonder. So I don't think that's gonna help. Let's do a wicked wheel. Oh I can't. That didn't do it. Oh, I was gonna say that didn't do anything. Phase one down. Oh, is that it? Oh, is that it?
Nope. Part two. Oh, we gotta fight ourselves. Shadow Clive. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> was a little further than I thought. Where'd you go? Cinematic time. going to get eventually where we can imbue the powers that you free while still in like human form I see you'd have me that by example oh, I press wrong button I press still pressing wrong button <laughs> ah into it. What? No escape, eh? It's all right. I'm done running from you. It's time for us to get that same power. Together. Oh. Then. It's time to 
find out who we are once and for all. Oh, nice. You're like a muso. <laughs> Accept the truth. It's like a Spartan mode <laughs> in God of War. still heal past our like whatever before we can only heal up to the like white health stagger damage eruption Off them for a second. Alright, should be over. So high too. Wait, which one am I? Ah. That's on the darker one. <laughs> Just keep punching him. Keep punching. <laughs> I love these fist flash. It's like. Never oh. Finish him. Yeah. So epic. Shadow Vanquish. Heck yeah. Fire shard, that means I can probably get a new sword. So I guess it's technically the second icon fight. Yeah, Guru's first one, Ifri's second one. I wonder who the next one's gonna be. Power. Yeah, probably because we can absorb other Akon powers. Yay. <laughs> this all happened in the span of like, I don't know, a couple seconds. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Clive, are you alright? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. 
We should go. I wonder what this mural is supposed to represent. <laughs> that looked like a safer Sephiroth. sure you're all right. Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. <laughs> I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. <laughs> That's what Sid said. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I don't think I could do this without you. No. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. No. Oh. I have changed. Mm. And she's also killed hundreds and thousands. I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. It's Joshua. If he is here, then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounded. The hour is later than I thought. <laughs> what? Just talk to them. Unless it's like a do uh look alike or something. Dazbog. Oh no! Yeah, it's like. Benedicta's gone. It's gonna remind me of Thanos. <laughs> Thanos or even uh Garrus for more combat. It's a big buff dude. Yeah, Benedict is hella dead. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. <laughs> Hugo. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. Send every last one of them to him. Out. Out. Yes, 
Yes, my lord. I mean, it's her head in there. But... Yep, she's hella dead, though. Alright, the meaning of life. Uh, Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing him to access new iconic abilities such as ignition. Fire lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the limit break gauge. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the abilities tab in the main menu. Limit break gauge is located beneath Clive's health bar. Uh, release Clive's inner beast and in semi prime into Ifrit by pressing the sticks uh, when the gauge is full. The gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi-priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard break strikes. So this is pretty much like Devil Trigger. Devil Trigger, Spartan Rage, so what next? whatever you want to call it. We return to East Pool. Same thing. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. Oh yeah, let me uh... So yeah, it says it shares it with this. Let me see. It re-channeled. It's gonna be next to... Oh! It's on the inside. Notes. What are these? And Willow the Wookiees? Summon a storm of fireballs. <laughs> they suck about Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. And attack while charging. Oh, nice. That looks so good. Looking multiple hits and forcing the enemy back. So, of course, it will take away some of these other abilities. Limit break. Other. Great, great. Uh, let's just get both. It was fairly cheap to do so. But yeah, I did say it shares with uh, Who's face. What's that? Oh, nice. Now this inner circle turned into Ifrit's symbol. So before it was like, uh, I don't know, some other symbol that didn't show exactly what it was. But yeah, now Ifrit is awoken all the way. Uh, I also have enough for this. Which, why not? And our lady had Oops, her I keep doing that. Now, say we can switch this with this. Let's get that ignition going. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, Flames of Rebirth is nice. It just has a very long cooldown. It doesn't even tell us how long the cooldown is. I just know it's long. It's probably close to two minutes, I'd say. Wait, what was that one? The, the, oh yeah, the balls. I'll just have it. I don't know if I'll use it. Just because I'm more of a she DPS really guy leave. rather than the... Uh... I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right. We should arrange an introduction then. Oh nice. Just heal us. <laughs> Even though we're full HP. Yeah, I think we leveled up from that. Let's see, we're at full HP. I'm just surprised there's no enemies here. Another potion I don't need. What about Torgo? Just keeps growling and there's nothing Torgo, out here. What is it? Oh, we found something. Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh yeah, here's the door I was talking about. Let's see if I can go in here. Why not? <laughs> That's the thingy. I guess it requires a different uh, iconic power. Or something. 
Yeah, something probably happened to the village, because again, we just saw that Titan found out about Benedicta's death at the hands of Sid. There's another potion. Jeez. <laughs> so many potions I don't need. Alright. Oh. So awkward. I'm gonna jump like that. No! The mayor! Damn, we're straight up stabbing that dude. What happened here? Stop stabbing him, he's already dead. He's already dead. Imperials. You'll pay for this! Oh, that is not what I thought it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? That's enough. I don't really want them to break. I pressed wrong button. Ooh, punished. Slay the soldiers. Did you brand it? You were born a slave, and you'll die one! I got way too early. Kill all the Ducal Dogs! Ducal Dogs? Hey, we're innocent people! That's all I can. Oops. Astrologer. You should have stayed studying the stars. But now you did. <laughs> That's so nice. Okay, now with the upgraded uh, charge strike, make it so you can do different types of combos now. That shit out of here. Oh, wait. Oh, what? I hate how it cycles like that. It should cycle to the closest enemy. Instead of like... I think it cycles like in order. Who else we got to fight? Oh, big boy. And those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Oh, he has a. My mother ordered this. Why? Clive. I know. You can wait. Ow. Stop paying attention. I'd stop paying attention again.
Ow. Ow. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Joe got whacked. Nice. I'm gonna take care of lunch money. All this stuff. I'm glad my party members don't really have HP. But they still do damage. Damn. They killed everybody. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. No! Deserved so much better. All of these people did. How'd their mom better than my mother? Know that we're here and stuff. Why'd they kill everybody? More soldiers. Oh, nope. Too late. Then. Oh, just gap. Oh. Life. No, Sid. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Freedom. Which is why we're going to change it. Is there a new resolve? Gav. We want to help. Yep. We're joining now. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. <laughs> All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Who's this guy? Suspicious character. Your nest. Oh no. Lord Kupka's message for you. Kupka. If like Kuf Kafka? FF6. It's <laughs> uh. not good. I guess we went straight back to the hideout. Writing wrongs. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. This is not the way, is it? Uh, fuck this guy for fun. Just uh, deposit all my. And how might this old soul be of service? I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. 
<laughs> Clapped out half the crits of his. Yay! I have quite the find for you today. Revelation. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. It'd be cool if we can actually, uh... What's it called? Like, get stuff from... Get stuff from upgrading, all that. Other than just more lore, but... Oh, Jill. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. <laughs> This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. <laughs> so, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? Aww. That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. Hey. Oh yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy Prelude to get music in now. The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial Capital. A what? And pay a visit to Mother. Mother. The Duchess. Uh though that one guy saw us. Oh that's a big glacier. Or is that crystal? Or flam? Or the Empire of somebody. Council of Elders. White Worm Lair. And the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. Hmm. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and cluster. <laughs> King Regis. It's not just dead. <laughs> Your radiance. Is that Bahamas dead? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, Sylvester. we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings. We are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, oh, yeah. 
It is done. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. Exactly. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? Citizen. Of our legion. Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Delmex. I will not keep you. You won't have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orthe. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength yep. will be needed again soon. See as Bahamut's dead. As you command. Oh, so yeah, they don't give a shit about their neighboring countries anymore. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not mm, today. Not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. Uh. So it's kind of like, right. um, Listen. Mako energy, almost. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. <laughs> but the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? She kind of reminds me of Fran's voice. Jill's? The higher ups. Jill's voice. The gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? 
We're not helping. Bear isn't dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. No more magic. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. True. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I'm um, in. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. <laughs> but it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Potions. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick break. Yeah, make sure not to so buy any weapons first. Probably see if I can craft stuff first. To this time. Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Hmm. Oh, I can actually buy these now. I already have. I don't have this one. Or maybe I was able to buy it as well, but I decided against it. What was this? Gradually fills the limit break gauge for 30 seconds. If I don't really need it. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some of fowls brewing. And it ain't tires bore bile tea. <laughs> Just Borbile. go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. Wasn't that the blacksmith? That's not the blacksmith. Make it quick. For the same for an India. Lame tongue. Heck yeah. Yeah, it sucks that it kinda overshadows the cool daddy sword we just got. Not bad. If I do say so myself. And I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Clive, was it? Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him, but that's all it's ever been. Talk. Oh. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. That's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. There's 
Well, no, not that. <laughs> that gets you an audience with the Dane. Just a bunch of coins. Mr. Dane will see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a stylus in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. <laughs> this is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. A what? That's good of you, but who is this dame and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. Right. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A oh. woman. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a <laughs> full report when you get back. Uh... Oh, who are you? <laughs> Cat with a side eye, big boo. Need something? Oh, what's this? Elliot. Reports unlocked. Elliot uh, reports are now available for viewing by speaking to Goot. <laughs> Goot. At the uh, Alliant report counter in the Hideaways mess. These reports compiled by the Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across the region. Region. It was probably a bunch of side quests everything. I can do. Not to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't because you? Because we uh, joined the ranks. Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. Guess not. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, <laughs> these have got proper bounties on them and all. Yeah. It's, it's some rewards. Quick look. All right, finding new quests. You've got use goats. Goats. Use the line reports to not only find new quests around Ballistia, but also travel immediately to the Obelisk Waypoint nearest their location. Oh, nice. Sure. That's nice. We can quickly get to side quests. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Sid's man. I wouldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to commit pretty their penny. own to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Mm -hmm. Can't get a peep out of them. Try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Oof. <laughs> so you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Oh, uh, that's what. Right. But how did the 
Oops. Daddy. Dad? I'll have two plates of whatever you're saying. <laughs> whatever you got. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. Bruh. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. <laughs> That's really all it takes. <laughs> One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, mm. as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Mm, it's a moldy bread. Oh yeah. Bread and wine. Give me that. Hopefully this will be enough. I wonder if I should go to that side quest and start it. That's okay. Don't tell me. Turn it to something. Brother, did you see? <gasps> Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Mmm, crunchy. So crunchy. Oh. That wine's so good. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. Yo, bug. I'm so rich. <laughs> 30k. Yeah, well, two things. Yeah, it's very sad that, again, bearers in this world, or magic users in this world, are persecuted and all that, even though they're technically better than regular humans, in terms of, like, objectively speaking. <laughs> I would love to be able to use magic. That'd be nice. But, the other thing, too. Oh, there's jealousy here, randomly. But, um... I, I, I want no trouble! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, these side quests are really contextual, like, they really help with the story oh, wait, building. Oh, and it's not too, Gloria, like, cumbersome. You were the hanged man. Hanged. You for a rogue. Hanged man. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. Yeah, it helps with His the world vineyard, building. And it's not too, like, joy, long and tedious to giant wasps. finish these quests. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. <laughs> I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. Fiends. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. Guts? You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Grapes. Go here. Should be really quick to get there. Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Mm. Yeah, 
yeah, definitely looks like my limit break bars will be longer, or at least more bars. We'll have more bars later. Yeah, that definitely is like Spartan Rage slash. Uh, what's it called? I all these wasps kind of chilly. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, this one's mine. That's too far. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Argotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's it. All right. Uh, That was a side quest in the thing, I guess. We'll go there in a little bit. There should be just one quest out here. It's over there. Over there. Hello. It's the... I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the golden stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch though. Be careful in there. Right. While the cat's away. Slay the bandits. Bandits have come to destroy you. Ah, golden stables, my ass. My ass. All hiding back here is coppers. <laughs> That's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. Well, see, we relieve you of it. Get it, lads. I want that blade. Let's get this out of the way. You don't want this. 
Oh, you're not dead yet. <laughs> Talking all that shit. And didn't do anything to us. Oh, they did? They did. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. <laughs> there he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! The hero. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. Uh. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. Uh. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. Happen. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. <laughs> Uh, he'd still be dangerous with the mob too. Nice. There he is. All right. Back to here. There should be another side quest here. Yep. Talk to you in a second, Gav. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. No. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? Hmm. I'm a courier. I carry things. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary. Oh, no herbs. fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. Scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field. Not curse breakers. My arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. <laughs> tumble in the There's bush. a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter... I think if I tumbled <laughs> my life. in the bushes like that, it's I was there. like, double-check what I have. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. Red letter. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Is this another quest right here? Talk to this lady well, has a quest. Well, well, someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Oh, so it's all dominance, Just eh? Just the three of us, then. 
Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. True. Come on, everybody. See you, I... In attack mode. I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Sucked. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. Yeah. <laughs> We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Do some side questing. Like, can I just stay here? There's no side quest that appeared behind us. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend. You see, he left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Yeah. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, oh. her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, I've been calling her share. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then... I ask a favour of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find them for me? I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Way. He's been working for Quinton, oh. the tavern people. He'll know something. I'm sure. I was just over there. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Any more in here? And side quests is where we have to go. So, we're meeting in Northreach. But will I find Sid in jail before this dame finds me? The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Sack. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. Boy. Oh, that guy <laughs> had the pack. The lost supplies. <laughs> so, how can this stuff get all separated like this? I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still, no sign of his letter, though. I've come this far. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? <laughs> Here for Master Quentin. I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its oh, mouth what? a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which <laughs> way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. 
to the village then. Thank you. I've got teleported. Get that doggy. <laughs> it's so intact. It's by being in a dog's mouth. We have a culprit. Sorry, boy. Love how the dog doesn't try to stop us. For this. Oh, there it is. He's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. If it isn't Sid's young protege. Protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Good. I know I have another- Oops. Up, Daddy. A local map. That's so far. Uh, I think on foot's better. Except teleporting. <laughs> How do I get to it? <laughs> uh, this place is a maze. Is it this way? So we have to fight random stuff along the way. I'll try not to fight too much because I'm pretty sure they're not going to give me that much experience. Oh no, the guild bug. By anything. You okay, buddy? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he needn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Faster teleport? No. Meaning I'm not supposed to go back. Why am I not 
surprised. Stream lunch. I just realized his blood has like spikes and stuff on it. Teleport back. told me what happened my man and I can't help but notice you're alone damn it I feared as much he's not far from the south gate I trust you'll do right by him of course I'll send someone right away I knew he was brave though I didn't know he was reckless Poor fool. Uh -oh. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. West, don't believe Last side quest complete. So my turn's in, and then go on in. Do the main main mission. Yeah, I think after the next main mission I should be stopping to eat. And then if there's time, I'll come back and stream some more tonight. Maybe I should just own it. If not, then I'll just... There you are. 
Call it a day. Just got we'll back see. to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you um. Get right yeah, here. You dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. No more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. Daughter. She's studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Oh, well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. Leaven so boats. So you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. Thank you. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. You'll be sweet <laughs> as honey once you get this out of the I sell these guild bugs I have. Also check out the blacksmith if there's anything new I could craft. I don't think so, but... And what do you want? Going purse weighing you down? I should sell some of this old gear that I'm not going to use. Wait. Oh wait. I'm be thankful you got that much. Much. You got out else? Anything else that I can sell. Everything else is crafting materials. I really feel like I can sell some of this. I'm be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I'm be thankful you got that much. I should just sell everything. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. Yeah, there's no special thing about much. these. You got out else? I'll keep the Invictus just because it's I reckon I can exotic. Find a you got out else? Yeah, a lot of these other things I, I can just buy. I can find a buyer. Uh, think everything else we can just keep. Come again. Oh, don't. Hard to... I'm not much bothered either way. I see I'm busy here. Anything new? In, dear. It's plain time. Well, apparently the... Oh, wow. I didn't realize. Huh. I used the Stormcry to, uh, build the flame time. Huh. I didn't even notice. So that's probably why we don't want to sell that. Like sell these once they probably perpetually build on each other. Got it. So keep that in mind. Alright. Uh, let me save and take a quick restroom break. We'll continue on with the main quest.
Okay. I'm back. I'm ready to tackle uh, the new uh, main mission. Yeah, so eventually, yeah, we're trying to get there. Because we're trying to stop them from using these great crystals. I see there's another great crystal, like, southeast of there. So we're just going to go around, like, just toppling all these major crystals. Mother crystals. Um, yeah. Is there a closer one? Yeah, it's definitely a closer place we can go. Let's go here. I really don't feel like running through this whole place. Though so maybe let's actually go south. I do see there was like a another path here. Let me see. Like there. We can actually cross through there now. Um so I think this is the castle we first fought uh Benedicta in. Wait, there's another path we could have went down this way. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we can go on foot. We'll go on foot. Let's go on foot. I don't know if I remember how to get out of this city. <laughs> this place is so whack. Uh... Oops. It's this way. So that way. This way. What will we do for supper? Supper. Alright. Is it through here? It's not through here. We are going up. <laughs> so I'll figure this place out eventually. Yeah, this is the right way. Of course, this might be one of the last times. I run through here. So I guess if there's more side quests in this area later on, then we'll just have to keep coming back. Get lost. Yeah, it's interesting that these uh, collectibles keep spawning back in. Not quite sure exactly what we'll, we'll be able to craft later on, but we are getting a bunch of That was a very weak enemy. Let's see. What if we can skip fights? We just run. We just run. I don't really need to fight these guys at all. So I feel like we can just run away from these guys. I don't want to fight that dragon. Oh, nice. We kind of got experience still. Two hyenas <laughs> barking each other. Stream lunge. That's it. So there's nothing down there. Alright, let's see if there, this place leads 
to a new spot. This is new. Those are pretty much like the Cray... Cray Claws. Spider out of nowhere. What's the thingy? Puts it on the map. It does. Nice. Uh, we can't do anything with them right now, but so eventually we will be. Gate is locked. Okay, so I can't actually go through there. Which is fair. Let me just grab all these collectibles. That move recovers uh, pretty quickly, actually. I wonder if it's because it's out of battle that it recovers fast. I'm assuming I can't go through here. There's something out here, then. What is a teleport thingy? I never saw before. That'd be good for later, so I can uh, come back to whatever that stone is back there. There's guards, eh? I hear the royalists made a right old mess of the care. Oh. Not before our men bloodied their noses. Can't do anything with them? Interesting. Uh I don't wish there was a teleport thing there, but that's okay. Um let's try going north where I couldn't last time. Merchant. Excellent. Another fight. <laughs> I 
way <laughs> too, too far up. Are we gonna fight these soldiers? Oh yeah, we can. Spiders. That's so good. Stack everybody up. Didn't that tower used to be tall? Let's see if we can go this way. Oh, chest on here. These must be higher level uh, enemies, huh? is fighting me. It's over. So where's my dog away? Over here. More like it. Mm. A lot more experience. <laughs> See how that works out. Oh. Yeah. 
Alright. Keep exploring through the fields. Slowly make our way over to the main quest over there. Oh, that's a big boy. Is that the same big boy we fought earlier? It's like a chicken. <laughs> it's like a lizard chicken. Probably has wings. Lizard chicken. That was weird. Probably because I missed. Oh, does this connect all the way back to Lost Moon? That'd be really interesting if it does. Pretty good amount of ability points, but still not enough, I think. Let me see. Can I upgrade some of the stuff we got? We can, if we want to. I can upgrade that. I haven't used that yet. I definitely want to upgrade this, actually. Uh, let's upgrade the limit break first before doing anything else. It's like a dead end area. this special treasure some more crafting materials I think the black blood we can sell for 400 kill so it's not bad it would be nice if there's like a charm or something that we can equip that helps like, show treasure chests on the map. That'd be nice. I already died. I mean, Torgo's pretty strong. Like, we can't really upgrade him or whatever, but. Oh, 
Nothing back here, just that dragon. Oh, it does connect. Somehow. Oh, there's chest. There is a chest. Griffin's head braid. What's that? Uh, burning blade damage. Blade damage. One's burning blade. Not that one, not that one. Is it... What is this? I really like using that, so maybe I should equip it. Raisin Flames, Rook's Gambit, Gouge. Maybe Rook's Gambit. I don't use Rook's Gambit as much as I use this. I'm pretty sure we can upgrade that later on. Or at least have a stronger version of that. So this technically connects to Oh, it's good. It's over. It's over. Being caught, go this way. Okay. Uh, can I teleport back? So I don't want to run back. this this watch can I go that way have I been that way oh out of nowhere I'm pretty sure I've been up this way, right? Isn't this one of the main missions back in the day? <laughs> like yesterday. Imperial Watchtower. Should be well stopped. Uh, maybe I haven't been here yet. You identify yourself. Oh yeah. Oh. We need to find a Garuda, lend me your strength. Oh, find a dragon. Oh, No dragoon. So it's probably more of these kind of towers. What's that? Increase it down with thrust damage, the Helmbreaker. Uh, maybe.
I guess I don't use it as much. But I do use it a lot. I don't know. Let's see. Other, other chests. Put the only thing here. Mm, kind of sad we can go inside. That's a pretty good uh, accessory though, but... Again, we only have three accessories, so... <laughs> Gotta pick and choose what I want to keep on. I jump down from here. What if this fall damage? you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. What? More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. I was like, how do you know my name? Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred. Cleontel. Cleontel. <laughs> you can call me Isabel. A what? Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... You're my master? Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master oh. came to appear. Yes. <laughs> that will be <laughs> nicely. But... I <laughs> shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <coughs> Clive's like, wait. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. The heck? <laughs> she loud as hell. Do you see anything you like? It's all low level stuff that I don't need. 50k. Why so expensive? Should be gill bugs. That's the and best I can do. Some black blood. Thank 
Thank you. I'm a goblin coin. That's the best I can do. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, let's go and save. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. <laughs> and who gave me this? I know more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you need. <laughs> Just play along. <laughs> She's too much. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. <laughs> well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Boy, hold up. Uh-oh. Another fucking branded. <laughs> oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. So we can just whoop both these guys' asses. <laughs> but I'm going in stealthy. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had. They wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. <laughs> Well then, I suppose you And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't oh. it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. <laughs> what is it you'd have me do? Uh oh. I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, Okay. I need you to find someone for me. <laughs> One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several Tatienne. days now, having left no word Fancy of name. explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Except the moon and stars from Isabel. Proof of that trust, mm. and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome <laughs> face of yours. This girl. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably. 
I start here? Hello? You wear the dame's brooch. Whoa. She must trust you. Brooch. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking <laughs> about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Uh oh. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. <laughs> Spent every gilly earned on Tatien mm. and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. <laughs> Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. She didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Oh. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Let's try to get these side quests started as well. I haven't seen you around the veil of Those three of you. Three, Dan. Excuse me. You... I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. Of course. I know exactly what I'd be assisting. Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, Etienne. A humble merchant. Actually, know a guy in real life named Etienne. I am proud the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls. I believe it's our French name. The guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Why not? Marvelous. Mar the task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in mm. total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... Fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. <laughs> a long pause. Trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Strongly advise. Alright. Three heavy purses. Heavy. I'll try to get these other quests started before straying too far. Sergeant's got it in for us. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, that. I'm just passing through. But, I don't bloody believe it. 
The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. <laughs> the bastard. He'll be away strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really oh. worth a couple of the Empress finest? Because we're fighting. <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Fine. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> if it'll put your mind at ease. I just try not to kill no. you. And just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Yep. Yeah. I probably don't have to prioritize that. Just fight his ass right here. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? Draw your blade. If that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having it. So you can kind of tell someone's like abilities just based off their attire. I feel. All right. Oh, I warned you. you. Mistress, Leon. It was Leon who gave you the pounding. Slay the enemy. He's gonna be. <laughs> I would have gave up already. <laughs> I forgot so launched like that. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Should've been talking all that shit. Uh. <laughs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Did I fight the other guy too? So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? See a dragoon. Fine. That's good. Sword up, bearer. Sword up. Fun, is a oh, is a heavy. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. Now he went to hold my tongue for a start. You got potential. I give you that. Oh, run his dick. Sure, you want to get back up? <laughs> oh my gosh, soldiers, hella bested, perfected. <laughs> Oh, so funny. <laughs> we got our asses whooped. Go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. Yeah. <laughs> the dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Mm -hmm. yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames and safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? <laughs> nope. Lawless victory. Are we level up? Nope. Uh, let's start this other quest before talking the to the guy. Fell favorably. To the veil, then. Oh, the chest over there. Hello. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. Endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Ooh. Empire's treatment <laughs> of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, 
my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Oh well. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. And of the people. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Bruh. Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Oh. And this guy. That's pretty cool. Using arrow to uh, dry. You look like you need a rest. Dry these towels. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. <laughs> uh, I guess we can just go ahead and Complete all these other side quests. While I'm moving. Moving on to the main quest. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stole those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Damn. That's just how it is. Uh, let's go to these guys outside the gate. Then we'll come back to the other guy. We've the right to confiscate. Well, about a plum for the apple of your eye. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. Fresh from the master's table. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Vetienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. 
Of course. <laughs> of course. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. I Where do not know you. Where is the merchant, you. Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. <laughs> Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your <laughs> insane tongue. This mother. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in class. <laughs> Payment. <laughs> take it and get out of my sight. <sighs> and how messed up this world is. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. I really hate this condescending tone. We can easily end him. <laughs> Each one is hand -crafted. You say these are... There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard, but this here will make them less so, for a while at least. Sorry about the welcome, I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Hey, this guy's not a total jackass. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Spirits? Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Gotta talk to this Etienne fellow. Well then. have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. Oh. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? Oh. No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. <laughs> I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Chocobo teeth. Hence the thriving they market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. It's so much coin in our purse. Ooh, level up.
Next time, if you know what's good for you. Here, it looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest, but I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway. Let's right, go and talk to you. I heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel mm. branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. Bitch. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. Dodgy, his yeah. name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Hmm. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. A dame, thanks you. A dame, thanks Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Let's go back to the Vale, and then we can go talk to... Maybe talk to him right now. It's right here. Oh, it's a dame. Meaning Isabella. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. Miss oh, Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a the merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't Why are you so angry? You <laughs> Why are you so angry? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Mm. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. Can what? <laughs> there is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Into the veil. Turn this one in. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Pleasure. Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going.
for money. Now have to go there. Where's there? That's far. And it's also with some more side quests. Is there any chests anywhere? Oh, there is. <laughs> I was like, I should see if there's chests. Mm, too lazy to check more chests. Let's just go. All right, lads. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? These bitches. <laughs> Low frame rate, wing flapping. What's going on right here? For today, branded. Uh, the atrocities. Chocobos. Let's make this quick. Fields. Let's not wander too far as much as I want to. Uh, yeah, let's just stay on the path here. Chugbo meat everywhere. Uh, let's see, side quest. 
You, Brandon, here. You're late. What kept you? What kept you? Late for what? <laughs> Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. My boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. Kill the beast. Must be someone whose son's in. Just kill the beast. Danger. He didn't seem all that worried. <laughs> Something's not right here. Yeah, he's a bitch. Need to be careful. Oh, the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. It's a boy, a proud wolf. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Little kid. No! You weren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You were supposed to die. <laughs> Father will have you whipped for this. Whipped. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Bruh. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Bruh. Having fun. Why are you still speaking? <laughs> Bruh. Father will hear of this. <laughs> Father's gonna get his ass whipped too. Yeah, it's fucked up. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. It <laughs> kills him. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better <sighs> trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. Bruh. You're not the branded I bought, are you? Eh. How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Hmm. I'm really interested to see. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. <laughs> Why would a woman of her caliber... Look at his eyes. Look. You look afraid. <laughs> well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Oh. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. <laughs> you think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head, 
clean off his shoulders. <sighs> Can't just beat his ass up. I'm wasting my time. Mm -hmm. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Ooh. Gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? Mm. The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yep. <laughs> Here. For their help. Take this. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Till then. All bark, no bite. No corpse, it says. Mm, uh, oh, there's blood though. Eh. Crazy. I can't climb this wall for some reason. One more side quest, and then we can finally do the main. Back to the main quest. Where are you going, Clive? <laughs> he just kept running. Have you seen my Chloe? Uh, let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. 
He hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. Well, in that case, let's not keep her waiting. Let's do it. Play things. That's a lot of field to search. Mm, hell is. Like someone might have seen her. Attack this lady. Fastidious. You work these fields. Studious. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Shit. Chloe, is it? Ah, oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idol branded underfoot. There. Chloe. Chloe. Dog. <sighs> More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Oh, his body. The branded. Someone napping on the job. That's definitely a branded. Like, I hope they don't mind the interruption. Spent most of their abilities. Messed up. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. Bah. I have to wait until they're this too is so tired messed up to in this world. Anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. It's true. Rude and reckoning, awakening. And without that brand. She would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... You feel bad, girl. Feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> And educate these bitches. <laughs> They're kids. Anywho. Alright. Main quest time. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. The dame sent. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, 
Keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Let's pick up a traveling trader. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. And nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however. And for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Anything. Be sure and tell her, won't you, <laughs> that I was helpful. Nah. Most helpful. And this where to now? Is this way? Is this more? No, it's nearby ruins. It smells of death here, Togo. Oh. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. <laughs> Fuck your dogs. Else killed them. Where's the comb? So it is you. Oh. Tatian. Betrayal. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. He said her name was Tatian. Oh, never mind. I take back. Did you follow me? <laughs> I kept thinking of now, Tatian. Why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. <sighs> I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. 
I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with the Dane waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the Dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the Dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. Oh, did Isabel come all the way out here? Weren't expecting any more. If it was a man. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. Oh. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You you found her then. Yep. My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan, especially a client who is young and far from home, but rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Quest to complete. Nice. It's a pretty good experience for just big old fetch quests, more or less. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued <laughs> gentlemen, Lucy. Looser it would tongue. appear that the legions are planning to march south. Oh yeah, we saw that in the cutscene. mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? Oh. This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. Oh. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Mm, very interesting. Alright. Oh, it's Petter Doggo. You've been a good boy. Good boy, Doggo. One more time. Mm, Alright. Now feel good, boy. Time for me to stop. I guess I'm gonna eat. And yeah, we'll see what happens later today. Not sure if I'll come back, but whatever happens, happens. <laughs>